Plow Farms was started in the early 80s by my parents. It's been in our blood for generations and we're really proud to serve uh, Central Pennsylvania as one of the leading Christmas tree farms. As you might expect, Plow Farms near Morgantown, Pennsylvania gets very busy around Christmas. People come to buy pre-cut trees or go out in the fields to cut their own. Things will get even busier on December 11th. That's when some really big dogs arrive for the annual Newfoundland Christmas tree pull. We've been doing the Newfoundland pool about seven or eight years now. They are working dogs, they love to be active, and so one thing that we can do is hook them up to carts and have them pull Christmas trees out of the field. It brings the dogs joy and it brings the people even more joy. There will be around 50 Newfoundland dogs, or Newfies, at the farm that day. About 10 will be hauling trees. Glenn Lester brought his dog Glory to the farm so we could get an advanced look at a Newfoundland dog in action. How did he become a Newfie fan? My daughter said, hey, I'd like a big dog. I knew a breeder, so I, so I went to her house. She had seven of them. So I met seven Newfoundlands in one day and took my daughter. So that's how I got introduced to Newfoundlands. Glenn and Glory showed us how the Christmas tree pole works. Zach Creelman and Scarlett Means of Ephrata were happy to volunteer their tree for the demonstration. So I came here as a kid. Well, I knew that was a thing. I've heard of it happening here before, but never actually had it done. The event's called a tree pull, and everyone says the dog pulls the cart, but according to Lindsay, that's not actually what's going on. When hooked up correctly, Newfoundlands actually push the cart. The strap of the uh, cart actually goes across their chest, so with that motion, when they step forward, it pushes the chest and it propels the cart forward. There's no back pull on it. They can move a lot of weight with that kind of leverage and technology. So we always want to tell people there's no animal cruelty. These dogs are meant to work. They're not pulling heavy, they're pushing, and they can push with a lot of might. Dog and cart pull, excuse me, push the tree down to the baler to be wrapped up for travel. Between trips, the Newfoundlands demonstrate they're not only good at working, they're good at relaxing. They also demonstrate their laid back temperament. The Newfoundland dogs are actually known as the nanny dog. They were the nanny dog in Peter Pan. They're gentle giants. And that's what we love to show on our Newfoundland day is that they're friendly with kids. Their size shouldn't be intimidating. They're just gentle dogs who are loving, perfect family pets. They're very affectionate. They've always, they like people. They like other dogs and I'm a people person. So naturally when you have a dog, you get people coming towards you and well, a lot of times it's children and they love children and she's always been great with children and of course the adults are the most ones that scary that they see their child running towards your Newfoundland and they don't understand what the dog is they're yelling at their kids come back get back here these just beautiful dogs doing their beautiful work and spreading holiday cheer